fast with their like payoff timings when it gets graphed out how long it takes to get the payoff on Midas. Ogre just gets it, you know, 75% faster. They're off to Kuro again. Maldik is able to connect. Now be a very dead Kuro, even with a Shadow Word. The lead forward from Rage Potato. Maybe actually with Stick Charges, Kuro can survive through this. He's fine. Potato wants to stay on the back of it. Kuro, leap forward, Starfall, he's trying to just juke him out. Now with the Sam P, Kuro is able to do it. GH will arrive to help with Weeha to find the kill on Ragey Potato, who really wanted that. Nico is now getting pressured by the Terrible. Oh, they've got DP. They know there's no Stampede. And my Let's control wants to TP out. <clears throat> just Dyer's not enough damage. Like, even with the Infest pop, they're looking towards Roshan. Where does the Dyer scan? Do they feel it? They're looking further to the north. Yeah, they, they know something's not right. And Fly walks in, breaks the smoke already over on Ori. And they got Anthony to cast. Oh, he's just going to die. Instantly dead on Crip. Paparazzi, the damage output from Morphling. He's just thrown out so much. The RP will connect onto Samael. DY is going to follow up chain. As you know, he's just waiting it out. Samael will now BKB and look to walk away while the hit hits on, on Yang. He couldn't get away from the curse crown while S4 will fire strike over towards Ori. They still want to get the course. Yang's doing his own run out here. Finally, he will go down to fly who actually bought back to get this one but it's a triple kill for Arteezy he's the bigger man but S4 he may get the biggest one of all Paparazzi up in the air still has BKP available will actually dodge the bar strike from Arteezy now they're kind of just stuck they're just sitting outside of their base here unable to really get out they know they're just going to get chased out and die this could be a last last effort here of the smoke to try to get a big epi this one goes 5 as well Gonna feel pretty bad. They're gonna try and fully commit onto Thompson. Thompson straight away still get the time to find the tornado. Trying to duke it out, but they will get him. Okay. They get one. Let's see if they can chase for more. Money's in onto the high ground. Little boy seven. No tail. Jump forward with the swashbuckle. No tail. Very low. That one's gonna look to rolling down. Will find it for the rolling thunder. Rolls across, but they've lost Money. Money's been taken out by Anna. Sensi pops the stone gaze, forcing OG back. But Anna's ready to turn with the radius. He's burning Sensi down low. They do lose No Tail. And they're trying to fight around this shrine ages. area. Does still have the Aegis. So he's not too worried about any of RNG's attempts to bring him down. And Thompson's also bought back and he's chasing forward. He wants yeah, to get Monet, but he's up. also bought back. It's out onto Monet. Monet looks to be on the verge of a dive back. The and echo. The One more remnant. Anna's in. On to Setsu. Triple kill for Anna. Finally cut down by Monet with the slider fist. But it's only an Aegis. Anna's going to be back. He'll move towards Jarex. Fly by Arpu. Having to keep Monet alive. He's got a remnant. Will be able to get away. Ice Blast is down onto Anna. Anna. Turning. He's holding his ground, punching into Arfu. It's very tanky. He can now move back over to Monet. No remnant left. Monet will fall. It's a dieback on the Ember Spirit. Another one. Fly by also getting chased. No Boris Strike available. More kills for OG as RNG end up all dead once again. It would be a little strange if uh, if they do double the Yeah. Okay. There's smoke. They're gonna jump. Catch. They're gonna try and jump. He's straight away ahead. onto a tanky one. Nish is in as well. Look at the back lines. He'll go for Kaka. But the lower sword was placed on Kaka, so the stuff gets reflected onto Nisha. Not that it matters, because Nisha still gets the chance to put the BKB. Old chicken. He's trying to right click down Nisha. They're surrounding him and chasing him out. Nisha's BKB is about to wear off. Open moves are there from Old Chicken. They're on top of them. Drag back with the X mark. Finally, the false promise is there from Puppy. Keeping Nisha fine, allows him to blink out to the side. She throws out the good for the Lotus Orb. Again, Old Eleven reflected the stun. They're in to Nisha. Nisha full is fully healed though. After the false promise ends, Old Chicken is still trying to tackle him. They drag him back with the X-Mark, but they still Midland can't doing, quite kill him. Up. As they hold back Old Chicken, Nisha jumps back with the concoction. Secret will come out on top. As try as they might, Keen, they could not kill Nisha. Like, how do you go on him? If everyone else is far enough away, then maybe you can do it. Moonlight Shadow, you run further forward. Paralyzing Cast now. The illusion will work against him. He'll bounce oh, back down with the Paladin. That's how you go on him. He suddenly with the Lotus Orb. It actually stopped Miracle from getting the life. That's what we're talking about. Mind control. Hopstop creates more space. Miracles and almost no life. Moon just wants to finish the job, and they're going to be able to. Ninja Boogie's Maldic pop as the BKB wears off. Perfect. Perfect Lotus Orb. Super good. Hey, he was even hitting neutrals trying to beat him right now. He's like, yo, what are you at now? 116, I'm 150. <laughs> Uh oh, moving in. Cuckoo in trouble. Gets caught. Armel looking for the combo. Can they kill off this Broodmother in time? It looks like they will. Gabby finds the finish. Chronosphere comes out with the epicenter. Great play coming in from Boxy. Can they kill him off in time? The silence! Oh, it's not going to be enough, though. And Armel chased down for the moment. Has an enchant totem. Mickey. They saw it. Jason. Burrow oh, strike yeah. comes through. Uh, they take yeah. him down. Alliance! Mm. Doing 
him dirty with Boxy. Oh. I was like, oh, he's not burrowing him. He's like, wow, that was really smart way with the spell shield. And then he's just like walking away. And I'm like, oh, he's still not burrowing. He's TPing home to to regen up, but they'll lose their mid lane of Rax. One left. Shaman works up again. Death Prophet Exo in five seconds. You saw them holding there before without the Exorcism, so this time they will have it, but Liquid's lead is now really oh, huge. Nice oh, oh, knock it forward, instantly oh, evaporates. Oh, oh, oh. Down for a minute and a half, Exorcism or not. Right now it feels like it's kind of all on Gabby, and he just keeps on getting Chrono. Fissure off the mark. Boykva, get about jump in. First crown on the Cuckoo. Don't get near the rest All of the All the team. spiders found them. Dude, they walk forward. The Chrono on to three. Mickey makes it happen. The Ice Blast on top of it afterwards. Alliance are doing it, ladies and gentlemen. And I think it's time to cast those two little magical words. Although Gabby, oh, is he going to make it happen? Tim's chasing through as well. He blinks away in the duration of his BKB. Buybacks abound from TNC. Oh, they have a sentry here, so Jarek sees them, actually. And they might get a turnaround kill here. Let's see. Still under the sentry. Here we go. Jarek popping once in the head. That's going to be an ulti. They have the level one leech seat as well. He's just going to pop his ulti and think a little bit scared. He's going to stun on over. Fought against a kill middle on top wow. of it, but 33 just turns around. He is still dusted. Will he get run down? He's trying to juke. He's trying to jive. Will he find it? He has a stun up in two. Dust just wore off. He doesn't have Sandstorm for about five, though. Seems like he's good. Oh, what a boss. Maybe balls. not. Oh, and Socks is here. The balls are there. He's going to try to dodge him. It looks like he's actually trying to tank him up on the bat rider. Right wow. The kill. 33 styling on him right now. On the Radiant side, Sox is there. How does it work with Invis? Obviously, it'll hit him, but oh, they're going to find one. It will be a dust. He's just going to throw out his ulti immediately, but he will make it over. Will we be able to get the plus one agility? Looks like they might be leaving Jerk. A nice on backside. They've actually found the IO. Will they go for him? They're still trying to get the three. Here we go. They're going to break it. Oh, my goodness. PPD doing some damage. Slow deficit. They're going to be keeping back. It is a buyback. We know OG. They love buying back. There will be an ulti pop by this Slark. Will he be able to get away? He has a leap up in two. The problem is it's so tough. He's going to leap over to his tower. Oh, what? Hits over to the creep and there he goes. Okay, that shackle is hilarious. Oh my goodness, and what a team fight. NIP, they yeah. take a pretty good fight, but then with the buyback. They have a ward on the shrine. Play around it, play around your vision. Here we go, they get the blink call, and this is looking to be a kill. Kezu is in a little bit trouble. Misery is here to help save it. Oh, Nico Baby may be in trouble, and they'll just both back out. He's going to fuse on Weaver, so this is kind of a throwback build. Uh-oh, maybe the bad longer they actually get a lift. KP could be in a little bit of trouble, hasn't used his call yet. There's gonna be a roll through by Raging Cato. Misery, maybe the first one to die. Moon, another Laguna Blade, cause that Arcane Rune. See you later, VT faded. Gyro. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Him call, and this is about to be a wipe. There goes another, yeah. and it is. It's a five for zero wipe. KP the god. Why is there a fight going on, bottom guy? How many hooks has he missed? So many, dude. Don't type uh, uh, hook accuracy. Let the master work. Holding this out, he gets flipped back. He's not BKB. It's Adia. Oh, he's Oh, what a huge dismember on Spark. Not on a work. He's gonna have a BKB when he's up. He's gonna insta pop it. They're gonna try to get out, I think, on the side of the line. But like I said, he's gonna be really slow by the Scotty. He might actually get caught. Foxy has to get him out of there. I suppose he's gonna do stun. Nice flips. Nice stack. He gets caught in E-Blade, not in the best time, but there's a BKB. Oh, he's got eggs. Huge your team. Those are the last ten. Catches out Kaka. Yo, this is a fun game, I must say. Taiga True. on the back line gets caught. Now Quakefa gonna clean him up. Now chasing after old eleven. Old eleven has no buy. I was afraid of how much they actually want to fight this. I feel like they should be a little bit reluctant here. But it looks like they're gonna go for it anyways. This is Sank just gonna lay it out. Old Sandstorm and then Burrow strikes to the other side of Cliff. So they can't really stop him. Oh. And they're gonna have to choose to fight for this Roshan underneath the Sandstorm, constantly taking this damage of the healing ward. He's actually gonna wear out. So no, the damage is gonna be consistent. But Cuckoo is very low on his side here. He's gonna Burrow Strike back. He's gonna actually Who's got damage again to Cuckoo. He steals the ages. And now, are they gonna be able to get out of two man LSA? Oh. Cuckoo's back in. And they're the Sandstorm. Look at this, Magnus. He's dead as well. And you are had to just leave the Fight. He's been caught by the bedlam. He's gonna mant up a cuckoo catches him again with the epicenter. Cuckoo comes in.
they're still 14k up. They've done a really good job. Now they come. As well, Fire Strikes in. Look at DY's position. He's ready for the rock drop. He just needs the right timing for it. Ari's tanking through a lot of it. Now the rock drop does come down with the Fetal Bonds connect. But Fade's already dead. He'll have to buy back the damage in. They're getting it off. But here comes Paparazzi in for the stun. He wants to focus down Artesia. And with the upheaval, it's making it difficult for Ichi to continue to move, especially as Ari has backed up some mail. He will end up falling. Chris trying to do something about it in the back lines. Turns on the Magpies. Gets a follow up kick. But how much has he really got left to give? You got the flip tossed out. And now Crit focused down by Paparazzi. All the damage he needs with the Gosser. He gets it. And with a full up, Ari continues to be kiting them out. As well, will Burrow strike in? He doesn't really be that effective. In fact, if it's done the opposite way around, Artizi slow on life. He'll try and hit your right inside of S4 to get the hell out of here. Burrow strike in one second with the banner. It got taken away by the Mystic Snake. They have to pop out. They have to fight. At least he'll be able to get one die back over on the Tuscar. Or maybe he can get oh, more. A double kill for Artizi. A triple kill for Artizi. He's just turned this crap up. Ultra kill. Given the red beast the bash. And his Artizi. Rampage is solo BG Gaming! <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want it? It's worth it to get very crazy very quickly. Ramsey's all over the top on his bottom out. Right at the start, jump forward, BG is all the other. No one gets it. But off to the side, they're going to roll over Andre and Ramsey's under block now. Top Rossi jumps in, finds one, a punch on the solo, able to find the good start. Second round, Slam connects. On to no one, they're going to jump on to him again. They find that wall. The X pulls back in again, but this is what Rossi completely fine. And now she's more for Ramsey. So the right click coming through. Another fissure, another kill. Oh, as Ramsey is going to drop. And this is why Warplane Agnew is terrifying. I think it's still pretty good, guys. Turn though. Is a great conductor. Still just chip lock and chip. The aura on top of it. Now, buybacks. And the reverse pop. He wants to find it. He wants to chase them. Wants to chase them all down. The fissure connects. He's found himself. Masha trying to run away. Can they run him down? Or we should come back in a second. And they buy back now on the ET chasing forward. For Ramsey's done much of them. They find that kill as well. Wave for him through. Not going to get caught. And no one taking the ninja shots. Not taking the ninja shots. They try and kill off Mori and they will kill the ring at the top. So the buy back comes out immediately. Triple kill from Paparazzi. This man smells the Wants to find the ET. He did so much damage to me earlier, but I'm going to give the full kill. Off as well. No one turned upon fear, but Paparazzi, he's not afraid anymore. And he turns now on to Pasha, wants to chase down this Kunkka and collect his rampage. But this is gonna happen. No, he's not for sure anymore. Oh, he's back. He's back again. And there's her shake with a switch back forward. Find the rampage. Paparazzi have mercy. Siphon up Ori. Oh, he just wants. Hi. DJ, he fought back. He has a BKB. They have the He's right. gonna be able to live. He's looking pretty dead. He's definitely dead. 130. Uh, hang on. The rest of Fnatic, they're coming in. They've got the hex on the Fada. Fada's in trouble. It's only Saxon that's having to save it. They're the BKBs. They're all gone for 55 seconds. Oh, but has his though. Turns right to Fada. He's got the Daedalus. He's got the crits. He's got the damage. Fada's dead. Now Jabs and Arbet looking for more. Saxon and 33 split apart. The body cast coming to play. e as well. More mild. Multicast down on our bed. The roots on a 33 silence as well. Jabs surrounding the ogre. The hex is up. Has he got the damage? It's a very big boy. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. It's a big boy with cheese. And cheese will hear them up. They're starting to get mad at Sucks, so he's burrowed, so he's getting that mana regen. Jabs is coming to get comboed. And he's out of mana. Uh oh, Jabs. He's out of mana. Jabs. Uh, Jabs. Jabs. Uh oh. He's dead. He's dead. He's got buyback, but he's dead. You can't oh, underestimate yes. these heroes in the late game. You see this Nyx burrow, you see this ogre with an agonims. Radiant As into the base they go. OG know that there's not much to fear right now. David, just throw the hand of guys, just make sure they're all full HP before any type of fight will even kick off. Bye bye. Try for the entrance with the epicenter. Does my spring Anna down to half HP? What a force staff to push him out of the ice blast. Whose force was that? I was responsible for that. That was Bat Rider, right? That's Seb? It's nice, Seb. four step by Seb. That's pretty insane. That, that would have been like R Roche and everything to RNG and whew. Just, uh, he knew he was too tanky though. Don't worry about it. Oh, there we come in. Three heroes. Jump back on the other side. Monet able to find them all, but it's not of damage. They got the borrowed time. Oh, look at all the heals. They're not doing anything to him at all, but the Sonic Wave isn't enough. No, Sumail eats the cheese and Monet is going to go down. Hex to the boat. Throw them on down as well, and Dude. they find themselves another. I have flamed this Aghanim so many times. It said, unless it was the... But this Roche fight is going to be so hotly contested. <laughs> Fighting around Roshan, this is where buybacks really come into play. And Pugna, buyback on cooldown means Thompson has to play this Roche fight incredibly cautiously. Oh, 
those two males just gonna go reddening in. They get the two man group. Is there a few to follow up? You betcha catches up two. Jarex is in trouble. He's been taken out by our TC. Instantly fires back, but they've also lost no tail. Who does not have a buyback and tops it. We talked about his buyback says He's dead for 75. This could be EG securing themselves. Roshan and has been slept up. Is there a bean script? It's on cooldown. It's already been used. Anna's got the blade fury. Anna still has ulti. Yeah, and first out of Remnant. Yeah, they throw out the RP. There's going to be a Nightmare to try and save him. Sumail's out of mana. Sumail's dead, and they're going to lose Sven as well. Anna with a double kill for his team. Only got the one kill. Godlike streak on Arteezy is ended as S4 does not have borrowed time, and the Blade Fury is just going to look to chase him down. Jarek with the stuns. His buyback coming into play there. They should go straight into Roche, but they still have a healing ward. Now we have to hope that he gets. Had no burrow, had no yield. Dude, look at this. Yeah, and like they know the pressure is there, but Crystallize is saying we have to go for the They're throne. For the we throne. have the death, so I'm the raid boss. They couldn't find me before. Maybe with this full on five man fight inside their base, infamous. They're finally going to be forced to do something here. They can't go for split push anymore. They can't go for the throne themselves. They have to be able to win one fight against Navi and they can win this series. But Crystallize with a BKB is ripping through the throne with that death lane. He's got for He's got him. He's got the chain stuns to show him. He's got to keep him alive. Plus, he's trying to finish up. Oh my God. 